Hello, this is MKFan49 with another review. Today we're reviewing the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 21, Kevin Owens. I picked this up at ringsidecollectibles.com. Here is the front of the package, the side of the package, the back of the package, the other side of the package, the top and the bottom, and let's crack this open. So here is Ultimate Edition Series 21 KO, and here is the box. On the front, you have Stun. This says Stun Owen Stun. And on the bottom, it says Price, the Price Fighter. And that's for the, the so-called Easter eggs. Now, this KO, basically, he is... His gut is not big. His torso is actually too small, and his arms are definitely too small. And I knew that already when I brought him, but it's just I wanted to complete this wave. So for articulation, he can rotate his head 360, can look up, down, side to side, can rotate the arms 360, can have to be careful, can go out to the side. You do get a bicep rotation. Double arm bend, double double arm bend, can rotate the wrist, can go in and out. You do get a waist rotation, can do the splits. You get drop down hips, which I don't like. <laughs> you do get a thigh rotation. Um, you do not get a double knee bend, unfortunately. You only get like a 90 degree knee bend, which unfortunately. Um, you can rotate the boot rotation. Um, the, f the ankle goes backwards and forwards, and you can do a toe pivot. But it does need some work, but I'm not going to worry about it. He does come with alternate heads, so this is the, the normal face I have on him now. Then you have... The yelling face. Then you have the smiling face. I prefer the, the normal stoic face. Because it's, to me, is the best one. You do get oaks in the hands. You get the fisted hands, which I put on. By default, it comes with the, the mic holding hands slash... Weapon holding hands, which I'm going to put in next, which are these right here. And he does come with the open palm hands for two of them. Next, we're going to show off the title belts. So he does come with the Raw and SmackDown titles. These do have a better finish than the ones that were released for the Usos. As you can see, they have better details. And let's put these in Kale's hands for these belts. For that one. And now let's get in the other one. You are going to have to do a little bit of finagling to get them in here. So if you fold the hands, you can sort of get them. Let me see if I can do it this way. So where he's actually holding the belts up like that. Now, on for comparison. So there is Series 21. KO. Series 21. Sami Zayn. Both of them with the WrestleMania 39 attires. The Series 21. Cody Rhodes. The Ringside Collectibles, Usos, Jimmy and Jay. I know. 
here we have the bloodline Roman Reigns. Give me a second. For the bloodline Roman Reigns. This is, this is WrestleMania 39, Series 20. Roman Reigns. Here is Seth freaking Rollins. This is his, um, I think it says 18 or 19. I forgot the way he's in. And this will be the modern rock. Now, don't get me wrong. He With the things that are wrong with him, he, I wish he had better articulation. Yeah, I am just, just a little disappointed the arms are too short and that the torso slash gut is not big enough. But if you're looking for just to complete the wave, it's not a bad figure. You do need to probably do some fixer-ups or just get the... Just go ahead and look for the Elite version. But other than that, if you want the figure, I say go ahead and get him. He's all right. He's not the best figure in, in the wave. The best figure I would have to give it to Cody Rhodes slash Sami Zayn. But overall, it's still a good figure to complete your wave. So please like the video, comment down below, share the video, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos and shorts. For any shorts and videos you may have missed, this is MKFan49, signing out. Fight Owens, fight!